This is the bike of Little Trex team sprinter Mass Pedersen. And what an unbelievable drop dead gorgeous bike it is. This is a Trek Madon, but with a new Project One custom colorway on there. And it is a thing of beauty. Now the whole team, of course, has a new look for this year's Tour de France. They've got a new title sponsor in the form of Lidl. So everything is brand spanking new, but Trek have also supplied all of the riders with these one-offs as well. The riders are all on different ones, but I think Pedersen perhaps takes the biscuit with this incredible iridescent colorway. Now underneath it, is the Trek Madon that was released last year. Really distinctive silhouette. You've got this setup at the back, which Trek called Isoflow. It's designed, they say, to improve aerodynamics, but also to improve comfort as well. So you've got that seat post, which is sort of cantilevered out from the back. Then also you've got that super extreme cockpit. Now, apparently that's a standard one, not custom, but I don't think there'll be many riders out there running quite such a long stem with such narrow handlebars, still with his levers turned inwards as well. Now, on the bike, as you can see, we've got SRAM Red Group Set on there. This is actually Pedersen's spare bike. On his race bike, he benefits from a gold chain and a gold cassette, which SRAM supply to their world champion athletes and former world champion athletes, which of course, Pedersen is one. Now this does vary from your common or garden SRAM red group sets from one other very important reason, and that is the size of the chain rings. Now this is something I noticed first of all on Pedersen's bike last year's Tour de France. He's using a 56 tooth outer chain ring and a 43 tooth inner chain ring. That's paired to a 1033 cassette. So he does have a pretty low gear still with 4333, but a monumentally big 56 10 top gear. It'd be riding at 50 miles an hour when he's got that one up at sprinting speeds. Now I did actually check with SRAM about whether or not their pro athletes are using bigger chain rings and not using the smaller sprockets at the back. But they said that no, depressingly for us mortals, they are still using 56-10 at points during stages. So it's not like that 10 tooth is gathering dust. It is very much in use, which is quite mind blowing when you think about it, isn't it? Now, in terms of the wheels, they're using Bontrager Aeolus wheels. All the depths and the mechanics told me that they've also got all tire formats catered as well. So they've got clinchers available in all depths with inner tubes and they've got tubeless available in all depths as well. I must say he did look slightly weary when he told me that stat, but that is a lot of wheels. The reason they chop and change is due to rider preference and in some cases also the weather conditions. The riders prefer one type of tire when it's wet as opposed to uh, when it's dry. Really interesting stat, I thought that one. The riders are using Pirelli P0 race tires, this being the tubeless version on Pedersen's bike. This is the race TLR version. Loving this, uh, this tan wall look as well. Super, super cool. Other interesting points to note, the Little Trek team are using time pedals. Now, time pedals used to be pretty ubiquitous in the pro peloton. Then they kind of fell out of favor a little bit. The brand was then acquired by SRAM, which is part of their stable of brands. And so there's been a bit of life pumped back into them, but interesting to see them now back in the pro peloton. Little Trek are the only men's world tour team that we know of that are using them but there are three women's World Tour teams as well. So in addition to Little Trek, we've also got Canyon SRAM and SD Works as well. These are the X-Pro 10 carbon version. Super low stack height on those, super low. Uh, now, other points to note, we've got a Bontrager versus saddle there with carbon rails. And then you'll notice this extreme position on Pedersen's bike. So that is a 13 centimeter stem, but negative 17 as well to get an epic amount of saddle to bar drop. It's also a super narrow cockpit as well, 37 centimeters wide at the drops, even narrower I'd say on the tops as well. And Pedersen has his shifters angled in ever so slightly as well. And then it's paired up with a Wahoo Element Roam as well. So Pedersen goes for the larger of the two head units, angled ever so slightly down for improved aerodynamics, you would think.
Interestingly as well, given that this is such an aero bike, the team are keeping the through axles with the levers attached. So not just a flush Allen key bolt, they've got the levers attached, presumably for faster wheel changes without having to resort to uh, one of the drills that some of the other teams are using. The last point as well, Pedersen's using 172.5 millimeter cranks. So uh, despite having a monster 56 tooth chain ring, he's not got monster cranks on there as well. So uh, yeah, spinning a nice high cadence, you think. Right then, I will leave you with a free hub sound check. You ready? Wow. That is cool. That's a loud one, isn't it? Love it. The sound of precision engineering. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Right, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Frankly, if you love Mass Pedersen's custom painted Trek mod on, I'm gonna be giving it a double thumbs up, if that's a thing. Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to GCN Tech. We've got a whole load of pro bikes from here at the 2023 Tour de France. So make sure you check them out and stay tuned to the channel for more of them. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>